Hello fellow plant lovers. So today's video guys, I'm just going to update you about my Ahuarthea cospidata. I'm not really sure if these are really indoor plants or outdoor plants. So I made an experiment myself. So this is their first summer with me. So they all turned brown after I put them outside. After a week, they all turned brown. And so after research and everything, I put them inside and then after a week, they grow healthy again. I want to experiment what happened if they're outside. So this is what happened guys. So this is like four months ago when I did this video about this plant. So they are the same plants. So guys, this is the biggest one that I did that I showed you before. So as you can see, but the difference guys is their petals, the rosette seems compacted and the rosettes they're forming is really nice. So this one, I put them on direct morning sunlight and then they're still trying to turn brown. These two guys, they have the same spot. Ever since I put this one out, it's the same. It's healthy. They grow more babies. It's really compacted. It's really, it's doing really great. So, but this one is on a small pot and this one is on a bigger pot. So I don't know what is the difference, but they are like on the same spot. But this, all of them actually turn brown, all brown. So, but these are just like, recovering now and i'm happy about the result so these are on the direct lights now so i think it's a matter of time they will um, adapt on the weather if it's really hot or not but when i search about these plants they're supposed to be in their plants or at least if you want to put them red sunlight it's supposed to be like three or four or four or five hours morning sun and if it's an indoor plant you have to put it next to the window that has a lot of light so yeah, but I experiment, I put them outside on the red lights, really hot and they turn brown and it scares me, some of them died. Like look at this one guys. So these are from my small planters and I decided to move them in this spot. And look at this one. So this one is dying or it's probably dead by now. And look at this one, they're still brown. And this one is really doing great, but these are on the same spot as well but they are starting to recover so i think they can stay outside now because they already adapt the heat and it's also been raining a lot so they're getting a lot of water so yes they're getting a lot of water and then after that heavy rain they will get a lot of light that's kind of like messing my plans but i still want to know i want to understand them so i did a, a big experiment so yes like a couple or three of them died like this and this one, I think it's brown, still brown, but I think it will recover because it's starting to form a new one. See? When they're inside, they're like really a healthy green, but like thin. But this one, they're really compacted. I like the way they are right now. The, the reset are really good. They're very good. And you can see a lot of babies as well. So I will probably uh, move this one on a bigger part, but I will pull the whole thing and just put it on a, like a bigger pot like this so yes and i'm really happy with all the results because they're very thick and compacted so this is what i like so yeah so now i'll just leave them outside i will experiment more so you guys these are mostly for indoor plants but they can also be an outdoor as long as you will introduce them gradually on the sunlight because yes i also put them like on direct sunlight like all day sunlight so there you go so this is an update for today guys and i'm just gonna leave them outside so i think like this one it's healthier it seems like it's enjoying the light outside so thank you for visiting my channel gardening journey with ads and please do subscribe by hitting my avatar at the end of this video so you'll be notified for more videos and updates thank you for watching and once again see you around until next time and bye